14 Tomcat build. Oh, well, first thing before I forget. So I used. Uh, I've, I've masked all this off here. Oops, and I did not do any you know recording of this process at all. But what I did. Gosh, I'm a spaz. What I did was I masked it off, stuffed a bunch of cotton into the intakes, and then I. Oh, I was trying to use. The, you see, the blue there is the Hasegawa masking liquid next. And this is fairly new. It just came out over this past summer, so. And this stuff is too runny. I, I put a bunch of masking in here, and then. I let's see if you can see it or not. No, I guess I wiped it all off, but coming in through here, there was a whole bunch of. It just was oozing out of there. I'm not so sure if I'm really using this right. I don't know what this uh, this masking solution is really intended for, but the way I'm using it, apparently, I'm not doing a good job. Oh, this is just the regular uh, GSI Creos masking here, the gray stuff, and it seems to work more reasonably. And This is uh, maybe the second or third time I've, I've tried using this. I've given it a shot, and it just gets everywhere. Not happy about that. Um, I was hoping it would be like really, really fantastic, but you know, I'm ending up just going back to the old, old faithful GSI Creos Mr. Masking Soul. So for the masking solution Neo, this is the really thick stuff, which is good for just blobbing it into places where you just don't want to uh, to deal with, um, you know, having to build it up in layers or whatever. So since I had already taken the, the time to paint the wheel wells in here, that's why I'm going to use it here. And I'm getting low on both of these masking solution bottles, but I have recently replaced both of them. Um, I began puttying up some spots um, on the sides here. I'm going to have to file this down or whatever. Uh, this is, you know, I actually, you can see there's a bit of an indentation there still. That part that I, I slid in there, I just kind of slid in a little bit too far, and I couldn't pull it out. So I'm just puttying the whole, the whole area. I'll have to get back to that. All right. So in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm gonna use my glue. These are those uh, fins on the bottom here, stabilizer fins, the ventral. Okay, there we go. Got too much on there. Let's just stick this in here. And come on, there we go. Great. Now, another thing I have to do are these uh, these rocket racks here, or whatever they're called. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to use some of this here, this cement here. This is the extra thin cement, but it's not the not the tiniest stuff. It's the, the Creos. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright, now that's in place. Great. Let's do it for this other side here, and then once we're done, uh, once I'm done, whatever. I'm not going to talk about that anymore. 
Um, this is going to be attached to the underside of the Tomcat. Wouldn't that be great? There. Oh, crap. There. Okay, cool. So, where does this go? Um, it is attached to this here. Alright. Okay. Let's make sure this is going to be attached in the right direction. Alright, it would appear that this part here, uh, the long part in the back goes, or actually that this long part goes in the back. So it apparently goes like, like this. That's how it fits. I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess that's how it goes. Alright. Let's, let's try the SP stuff, the super powerful. See how this works. There. Okay. Let's do this other side here. And then hopefully we'll be getting close to the priming soon. I was thinking today I was gonna start priming, but then I realized oh wait, derp. I got all this other stuff I need to take care of here. It'll be a lot easier to attach all this stuff now instead of after they've been primed, after the part's been primed. Okay. There we go. Alright, that's great. Now I don't want to rush the process. I'll just leave this alone for now. Um, I need to putty up. I got some cracks. Like right here, there's that crack there. I have to sand it down as well. Um, I'll have to putty this as well. So, yeah, I'll have to. I'm going to show you that process as well. So, there is a decision to be made with this, the way you build this. And let me get the, the picture here. So, you can build it with uh, these guys attached, these, uh, these bomb rack kind of a things that are attached to the underside, or have these missiles um, just attached directly in, into these 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 slots here that's what those are for so because I have elected to use these with the smaller missiles and they're going to use these bigger missiles that are mounted onto here so to do so and this is the reason why the instructions had you drilling holes in here um, that's, that's what these are for here, so. Alright, so this is going to fit inside here, like so. Let me use the, head, the, the regular cement. To put into the holes here. There. Okay. Now. I'm going to use the thin cement. I'll run it along here. Oh crap. I'm really curious about the Utilary uh, Tomcat kit, how that one goes together. If anybody is watching this, if you've built it, let me know. Um, but definitely I'm interested in getting the the, the the fine molds one. That's going to be really fantastic, I think. 
It's said to be the best 72nd scale Tomcat. Okay. There. So. There. Oh gosh, where is it? Let me just hold it like so. There. Okay, cool. Now I'll use the SP cement again. Get this along the cracks. Uh, how that connects there. So I'm not happy about how that comes together. I think I might need to use the clamps. Put the clamps on them. I'll do that next. So again, just use the regular cement here. Might just go ahead and just put the regular cement along it here as well. Okay. There we go. There. Cool. All right, now SP. Cool. All right, we'll get the clamps. And put in this drawer over here. Let's see if this is going to let me do this or not. That's what I hate about these clamps is that they tend to make everything fly apart. No, oh, no, I got it. Oh, nice. That's nice. Now this wants to connect just fine over here, but not here. I'm going to use another clamp so I can get a clothes pin that's going to fit over there. Let's see, it's not, not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Well, shoot. Maybe I'll have luck in Okay, that does it. Great. So I'm using white putty. This is uh, Mr. Hobby White Putty R. R. Don't ask me what the R stands for. Could be pirate putty, I don't know. I'm just going to brush this into the holes here because it doesn't quite really line up all the way, you know? Let that sit in the holes and the cracks. And then let it dry. Oh, see? Got a bunch of it here. I need to... Now this one's actually okay. Um... Alright. There we go. Okay. Let's check out the bottom part here. And, uh, yep. Got some uh, issues here to fill in. Oh, stupid hair. Where'd that, where'd that come from? Great. Okay. Just keep going along here.
So being the complete, completely silly person that I am, I uh, put this on backwards because I'm silly. And here's uh, extra thin cement. I'm going to show you a trick. I've shown this in other videos. Let's just get the, the glue in here. And it's going to reactivate the glue. And once it uh, kind of softens the glue that's there, then we'll be able to uh, kind of wiggle it loose. And I can uh, pull it out of the socket. So it's just going to take a while. Um, in the meantime, Just keep working on the acetone here. Uh, just keep scrub, 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 scrub. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, not quite yet. It's just gonna take a, bot, a bit of time. Okay, it's getting loose, loose. There, I got off. Great. Now, let's put this back on the way it's supposed to go. There. And I guess I could put some a little bit more glue on here, but it's already pretty gluey. There. Okay. All right. It's nice and nice and straight there, I guess. do something I've never really done before. This is pre-shading along the, the panel lines because they're raised panel lines. Now, I, I had to re-glue this thing because it came apart and it sucks. Decrease the pressure. Yeah, that's better.
Okay, we'll just repeat for the bottom. I guess I'm done. Uh, anyhow, this is a long enough video. I'm gonna end it here. So, thanks for watching. And uh, before I go, I'll just wish you live long and prosper. May the force be with you, and so long. Thanks for watching.